of the growth tense. Today we're going on to binomial by trinomial. Um, so basically what we're going to do, the method that I want you guys to do is, is if you have a two-term bracket multiplied by a three-term bracket, you're going to take this first term, distribute it into each one there, and then you're going to take this term, distribute it into each one like that. Okay, so let's go through an example and we can see how this works. Right, so let me just get this example down. Okay, so that is what they're asking us to simplify. Right, so I'm going to take this first term and I'm going to distribute it into each term over here. So what we get is 2m times 4m squared is going to give us 8m cubed. 2m times 3mn will give us plus 6 m squared n and then if we do this last one here we're going to get minus 2 m n squared okay so that's that first one now what we need to do is now we need to distribute that second one into each term in that bracket there so the first one will give us minus 4 m squared n and remember grade tens try and keep these things in alphabetical order okay the next one will give us minus 3mn squared. And then the last one will give us plus n cubed. I'm just going to look for like terms now. So there's no other m cubes. So it just becomes 8m cubed. Then we've got an m squared n. There's another m squared n. So we've got 6 minus 4 will give us plus 2m squared n. Over here we've got an m n squared, m n squared, so it's minus 2, minus 3 is minus 5, m n squared. And then we're just left with that last term there. Pretty easy, huh? Right, if we look at the second example, just want to get it down. Okay, so grade tens, don't freak out that there's fractions in that. We're going to do, if you follow the method, you're going to be fine. So we're going to take the first term, multiply it with each term in there. Now remember that this is a 2 over a 1. Okay, and when you're multiplying fractions, do top with top, bottom with bottom. So over here, we've got 2 times 1 gives us 2. And then 1 times 4 gives us 4. a times a squared, a cubed. Next one, top with top, bottom with bottom. So it's going to be a minus. 2 times 2 is 4 over. 1 times 3 is 3. a times a is a squared. Okay, then going to give us a positive. Top with top, bottom with bottom. So 2 times 1 will give us 2 over 1 times 2 is 2. a times b squared is ab squared. Okay, so that's that one done. Now we need to move on to the next term. Multiply in, multiply in, and multiply in. Top with top, bottom with bottom. So 1 times 1 is, and it's positive, will give us 1. 2 times 4 gives us 8. b times a squared will give us a squared b. Next one will give us a negative, top with top, bottom with bottom, 1 times 2 is 2, over 2 times 3 is 6. B times A is AB. Then a positive times a positive is a positive, top with top, bottom with bottom, so 1 times 1 is 1, 2 times 2 is 4, B times B squared is B cubed. Okay, what I can do now, 
grade tens is I can now simplify my fractions, okay? So two over four is the same as a half, a cubed. Four over three is just four over three. We can't simplify that. Two over two is one. Yes, there is a one there. I just don't have to put it in, okay? Then one over eight is one over eight. Can't simplify that. Two over six is going to be one over three. And then one over four is just one over four. Now, we don't have any like terms here. We've got an a cubed, no other a cubes, a squared, none, a b squared, none, a squared, b, none, a b, and then b cubed. And that is your final answer. Okay. And then I think the next slide is just the solutions which we've got. Okay. Right. Um, so, grade tens, I would prefer it if you wrote your fractions like this with your variables next to it. Okay. So try and avoid doing it this way. Right, so for homework, number 1.6, number 1, A, B, D, E, G, 2, and 3 for me, please, grade 10s. Thank you so much.